is the one who peaks for the big race, and she certainly did last year, coming in as, as not perhaps a favourite for the World Championships and taking the crown. Well, these two ladies are some of the hardest athletes, the hardest training athletes in the whole of the world. The second position, the top Australian finisher, Jackie Gallagher. You may be a little surprised to see Jackie Gallagher, who's only competed in two World Cup competitions so far this season, right in there with Connie. Jackie Gallagher will be delighted with her silver medal. She's had a tough season by all accounts. And it is gold for Jackie Gallagher. A superb performance. She predicted that she would want to dominate from the early stages, and Gallagher has done just that. I'm in good shape right now, you know. In the last few races, I've said that. I've, I've been here to win, and I've been, you know, I mean, I won two World Cups and second in the World Championship in the last few races, so, you know, have a go. Two weeks ago, I was so unfit it wasn't funny, and um, a lot of people have written me off, you know, people that knew where I come from, and I tell you what, it's a big resurrection to get back to that level, but. I guess the point is you can never count me out at World Champs because I always live for it. When you really think it can happen and you really want it to happen and, and you kind of feel like it's going to happen and then it really does happen, so it's just an amazing feeling. Jackie's had a fantastic season so far. In the Australian season, she beat both Emma Carney and McKeeley Jones. That confidence is certainly showing in her running style. Aggressive is the only word that comes to mind. Jackie Gallagher picks up the flag of Australia and runs home, heads for home, with the world title hers for the taking. It's been a tremendous performance. At one stage, we thought she took it away too early, but pure determination has taken her to first position and her first ever world title.